Welcome to the top 10 maxi scooters for 2024. Our recent 2023 list got quite a few of you talking about all things scoot, so we decided to revisit this list for 2024 and listen to what some of you had to say last time around. Number 10, we have the Sim Maxim TL508. So we kick off our list with a solid option with some serious tech. This includes a 508cc liquid cooled twin with 44.9 brake horsepower, 50 50 weight distribution of a 227 kilogram lump, and it combines motorcycle handling with the advantages of a scooter. You should be able to fit a helmet under the seat, which is always nice. An engaging ride is guaranteed here with an upside down front fork with a double triple clamp paired to a single sided multi link rear suspension. And this gives you top riding character at speed on the road and it also handles city riding quite easily with a shortened wheelbase at 1543 mil. Now compared to last year, the listed price has dropped to £8,499 and the spec on paper promises a very engaging ride alongside the typical maxi scooter features. That includes a 795 mil ergo seat, ergonomic seat, a 4.5 inch TFT instrument cluster, keyless ignition and adjustable windscreen. For a scooter of its size, the 12.5 litre tank could perhaps be a bit bigger, but now well under the £9,000 mark, brand new, it's a great alternative option against the rivals. I'll just quickly run down the spec and on each one I'll note if they are the best or the worst out of the 10. So the power is 44.9 brake horsepower here, the weight is 227 kilograms, seat height is 795 mil, the storage space should hold a lid, the tank size is 12.5 litres and the price £8,499. Next up, number nine, it's the BMW CE04. So it's the electric option for this list and one with a serious amount of power. Don't forget that electric power is also instant and the acceleration on offer here is simply out of this world. It's belt driven and 42 brake horsepower on tap. And interestingly, you can ride this on an A1 license with a restricted capacity, which goes to, of course, 15 brake horsepower or thereabouts. So you can ride it on an A1 license or like a CBT. Otherwise, it's in the A2 category. Now, this BMW is pricey, but you do get quite a bit of tech here with traction control, power modes, keyless ignition, phone integration on a super wide 10.25 inch TFT display. You get a watertight and ventilated storage compartment with USB-C connection for your phone and a storage compartment under the seat which is accessed from the side and it's sort of cube shaped. BMW do say you can slot your helmet and charge it in there as well. The range is given up to 130 kilometers or 80 miles which is somewhat limiting for its use in the real world but either way you'll definitely turn heads as the style is quite unique here. You do also get a single sided swing arm on the rear too which is always a nice touch. Oh and of course you'll wonder about charge times is 0 to 80% in around three and a half hours from a 2.3 kilowatt plug. You also have the option for a quick charger and that goes up to 6.9 kilowatts taking around 65 minutes from zero to 80 percent would you go electric with your next maxi scooter let me know in the comments down below so a few of these spec here power is 42 brake horsepower the weight is 231 kilograms the seat height is 780 mil the storage space they say is a helmet and a cable the battery is 40 lithium-ion cells 148 volts and the price 12,850 pounds quite pricey but not the most on the list Number eight, we have the Suzuki Bergman 400. Now, well recognized on the streets for years and years, the Bergman 400 keeps things simple as an all round commuter. And it hasn't really changed too much over the years. I suppose you could say don't fix something that isn't broken. The single cylinder motor that powers this 218 kilogram scooter is quoted to run an average miles per gallon of 70. So you should get some pretty good distance from the 13.5 litre tank, at least around 200 miles between your refills. Ergonomics, the 755 mil seat will fit most riders and you have space for a pillion here too. Plus 42 litres of under seat storage, which they say is good enough for two helmets. You also get two front compartments for your little knickknacks and bits and phone and wallet and everything. Like that. Electronic additions of a traction control system and Suzuki's easy start system are included with analog dial displays up front for revs and speed and an LED inlay that has other info like fuel and time. Nothing fancy like a TFT, but they keep it simple here as Suzuki like to do sometimes. Now you could argue that 28 brake horsepower on tap isn't quite thrilling enough. And you could say it's a little bit guilty of taking it just that tad bit too easy with no next level rider connectivity and amenities, just a 12 volt charger, no USB in sight. We could well see the new twin motor from the GSX 8S and 8R and the V-Strom 800 fitted into a future bigger Bergman with a bumped up price tag which could prove there is life in the Bergman range just yet. But until then, you'll still see this scoot selling reasonably well and ridden in towns and cities everywhere. Nothing changes here, really, so for that reason, it stays at eight. Right, 
Right, spec. Power, 28 brake horsepower. It is the lowest power on this list. The weight is 218 kilograms. The seat height is 755 millimeters, which is the lowest on this list as well. The storage space is 42 liters, so two helmets. Tank size, 13.5 liters, and the price is 7,199 pounds. Now, when the time comes and you need insurance for your motorcycle or scooter, make sure to get a quote directly of Lexham Insurance by clicking the link in the top right corner right now. With over 22 years of experience providing scooter and motorcycle insurance. There are several exclusive schemes only found at Lexham. You could well find the insurance policy for you. You can get a quote ready for when you pick up your new 2024 scooter or you can give them a try when your insurance renewal comes up. At number seven we have the Peugeot XP400 Allure. It's a punchy Peugeot. This is an interesting one. After its reveal in 2023 we're intrigued by the newest and largest scooter duo from Peugeot, the XP400 Allure and GT. They look great on paper and in photos but it just doesn't seem to have landed with as much interest as many thought. Nevertheless the 400cc power motion motor produces 36.7 brake horsepower and 38.1 newton meters of torque and runs with a low friction energy to keep it smooth, weighing in at a fairly weighty 231 kilograms. It has a 13.5 litre tank, space under the seat for a helmet, they say, and a separate space under the pillion seat, which is quite an interesting touch. There's even a USB plug in there. So the two models here are separated by their intended use. So the Allure here is slightly cheaper and the GT is slightly more, but that comes with spoked wheels. Both are adventure scooters and are based on the functionality of SUV cars, but it could well also be the emergence of adventure scooters and their huge popularity. Would you want us to hunt one down for a review? Let me know in the comments. Spec time, power is 36.7 brake horsepower. The weight is 231 kilograms. Seat height is 815 mil. Storage space, about a helmet maybe. Tank size 13.5 litres and the price £7,349. At number six we have the Kimco AK550 Premium. Now Kimco are the purveyors of urban mobility and have been quietly working away on new offerings for scooter fans like with the DTX. Until we see them land in the UK we return to the trusty AK550 Premium. Now this one's priced at £9,999 and it's shining bright with LED lighting. This range topping premium offering has AIBS which is just cornering ABS, traction control, cruise control, two rider modes with an electronic throttle and a solid 51 brake horsepower on tap from the 550cc twin. Don't be fooled by its place on this list at number six. This is a great option for a rider who values performance and comfort and the price has dropped a tad from last year. Brett did review the AK550 a few years back and certainly enjoyed it then so give the video a watch for more info on this one. You may want to double check the dealer network in your local area before purchasing one of these just to ensure you can get the coverage you need but the amenities on offer on this scooter will certainly certainly impress. We did also spot a concept Kimco Maxi scooter which used this same engine but in an adventure framework which is a very interesting prospect and it would be unreal to see that but we're keeping our eyes peeled for that so stay tuned. Spec time, power 51 brake horsepower, weight 223 kilograms, seat height 785 mil, tank size is 14.5 litres and the price 9,999 pounds. So number five we have the Piaggio Beverly S400. It's a true classic from Piaggio. The Beverly series sits in the middle of our list and it has that style and performance with the iconic scooter silhouette that you first saw back in 2001. Now this is priced in at around £6,000 and the Beverly has a 399cc HPE single, it pumps out 34.9 brake horsepower and 37.7 newton meters of torque. And it was updated in 2022 with a larger capacity and tuned performance. It runs on the largest 16 inch front wheel with a 14 inch rear. It has Piaggio's MIA smartphone integration and a USB plug to pair to the 5.5 inch LCD display. And it even has shower suspension. There are plenty of color options. The Italians certainly do like it to look good. And they say that the underseat storage is enough for two jet helmets. All in, a stylish and sweet option that has plenty of poke. Piaggio typically creates some really great handling scooters. And maybe the 12 litre tank could be bigger but it boasts a good 195 kilogram weight. Who loves a Piaggio? Let me know in the comments. And if you do love a Piaggio, maybe look at the Vespa GTS 300 Super review that I did. Spec time, 34.9 brake horsepower for the power. Weight is 195 kilograms. Seat height, 790 mil. Tank size, 12 liters, which is the smallest. And the price is 6,000 pounds, which is the cheapest. At number four, we have a Honda ADV 350. By popular demand from our 2023 list, we have put in the ADV 350 from Honda. With the adventure appeal, this plucky twist and go is great fun on the road and it has that potential for a bit of light off-road exploration should the opportunity present itself. With long travel 37mm USD fork, so 
upside down forks paired to a remote reservoir rear shocks from Showa. The ADV boasts 145 mil of ground clearance and block pattern tires with off-road wheels. It also comes in with typical Honda extras. So that's HSTC, select ball torque control, the LCD display and enough space under the seat for a backpack or according to Honda, two full face helmets. Now I've ridden this in the past. I could get a helmet at the front of the seat, but not in the middle. Priced at 5,849 pounds for 2024, introduced with four new colors for this year. It's a solid option for a rider who is happy to cruise up to 70 miles per hour and have that extra bit of adventure style. It may have the lowest power on this list, but it sure is a good twist and go scooter. Power is 28.8 brake horsepower. Weight is 186 kilograms, which is the lowest. The seat height is 795 mil. Storage space will fit a helmet at least under the seat, maybe two. Tank size is 11.7 liters and the price is 5,849 pounds, the cheapest. So at number three, we find the Yamaha T-Max Tech Max. Last year's number one, the T-Max Tech Max has slipped to third place, but by no means isn't deserving of a top three spot. Super techy, plenty of power, and the biggest tank on the list at 15 liters, the Yamaha flagship scooter does tick a lot of boxes. But why has it slipped to number three? I'd say it's because the price is creeping up and it now sits at 14,007 pounds. So by far the most expensive here. But does it have enough gadgetry to impress for the 007 price? Sorry, I had to. A 562cc parallel twin has 47 brake horsepower, so right on the A2 limit, and 55.7 newton meters of torque. It's mounted directly into a lightweight aluminium chassis, 220 kilograms weight, with sleek sporty design and motorcycle-esque handling. You have full connectivity from the MyRide Yamaha app, which enables full phone pairing, and a map navigation through the seven inch TFT screen, if you pay for the additional Garmin charge. You have an electronically adjustable screen, keyless ignition, cruise control, heated grips and seat, and a self-declared best-in-class premium specification but you're certainly paying for it. You can even fit a whole helmet under the seat. Now we've ridden and reviewed an older model of the Tech Max here. Shall we see about getting one in for 2024 for a review? Or perhaps one of the cheaper alternatives from Yamaha, maybe an X Max Tech Max, which is only 6,705 pounds. Let me know in the comments. Spec recap. The power is 47 brake horsepower, the weight is 220 kilograms, the seat height is 800 mil, the storage space should fit a helmet, tank size is 15 litres, which is the largest tank on this list, and the price is also the highest on this list, £14,007. Oof. At number two, we have the Honda X ADV. So seeing as this has the same power plant as a Forza 750, this year we've combined the X ADV and Forza 750 into one. Now with the most power here on the list, 57.8 horsepower gives you an exceptional base for any adventure. Alongside five rider modes, a six speed dual clutch transmission, which is automatic, but it's geared rather than CVT, and the Honda RoadSync phone integration. I'd also love to see Apple CarPlay or Android Auto like in the Africa Twin, but that's another point. In particular, the XADV has proven to be very, very, very popular in mainland Europe, though unfortunately it doesn't appear to be on sale in some other countries, especially for you guys watching across the pond in the States. Listed weight on these is a little bit heavy at 236 kilograms, but the top level of comfort, superb rideability and storage space, you'd sure be onto a winner with one of these. Spoked wheels, upside down forks, and all for a pretty palatable 11,199 pounds. Still quoted to take a lid, the compact packed 21 litres of storage space under the seat could be bigger and a smaller 13.2 litre tank may restrict range if you're hooning around as intended but it still remains a very very good option though last time around many of you complained that it's not a scooter and more of a motorcycle so should it be here at all let me know so spec recap Power is the highest here on the list, 57.8 brake horsepower. The weight is 236 kilograms, which is also the highest. Seat height is also the highest at 820 mil. The tank size is 13.2 liters and the price is 11,199 pounds. We're at number one, the BMW C400 GT takes it. So the BMW C400 GT makes it to the top of the list as it's the perfect combination of scooter accessibility, motorcycle riding character, tech integration and all for a respectable price. Now it's A2 compliant with 33.5 brake horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque from the water-cooled single. It weighs 215 kilograms and gives a strong 3.5 liters per 100 kilometers consumption figure which is around 80 miles per gallon. Underneath a 775 mil seat, you will find enough space for a helmet and you get a front compartment which has enough space for your phone with a USB socket. There's tech galore from BMW here on the C400 models with the scooter featuring ride-by-wire throttle, a 6.5 inch TFT dash with optional mobile connectivity and turn-by-turn -turn navigation, optimized ASC, so automatic stability control, keyless ignition, and some adjustable preload on the rear in case you're riding two up or just had a nice lunch. These tend to always get favorable reviews in the 
the press and they're spotted quite regularly out on the road. So if you fancy a cheaper alternative, you could also opt for the C400X and that has the R1250 GS wonky headlight. And that one's priced at 6,560 pounds. Now one potential negative here is the additional grip and seat heating package is 410 pounds. And if you wanna connect your phone, it's 605 pounds. The DRL is 105 pounds extra too. So all of these extras add up, but you can do without those and it will still be a great scooter with three years warranty included. So that's our number one max scooter for the year. But a quick spec recap is 33.5 brake horsepower. The weight is 201 kilograms. Seat height is 775 mil. Tank size is 12.8 liters and the price is 7,340 pounds. All in, I think that's a great option. Now I wanna know what you think is the best maxi scooter in the world. Maybe not even necessarily sold today. What's an old scooter that you think deserves a little bit more credit and recognition? Highlight of the year last year for me was the Vespa GTS 300 Super Sport. So find out why I thought that was just so much fun to ride in the link up there. We'd appreciate a like and a share. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Bike Matters on Instagram. And until the next one, ciao.